happy hump day Wednesday. In this video, you're going to hear or see or listen to Alexis Skye say that she has been involved in sex trafficking when she was young. Allegedly, that story is not hers. It has been said that that story came from Ariana Sanders. It's said that, that it is her story. Shout out to Mob Radio. She has all the receipts. I'm glad that she brought this to the forefront and people should be allowed to tell their own truth, their own story. Now, I'm not doubting that Alexis Skye don't have a story to be told, but Alexis Skye might not want to tell her own story. It may involve a family member of some sort and she don't want to hurt them. In this video, you're gonna see some receipts. You're gonna see Ariana and the things that she posted. And then after this, you can go check out Mob Radio and then you'll see all the tea plus an interview with Ariana. And she tells you how she met Alexis Guy. She met Alexis Guy when she was at a homeless shelter. She was at the homeless shelter and Alexis Guy claimed that she drove by and said, oh, I want to help you. And then, you know, and she put her up in the hotel for three, four days. And then after that, Ariana didn't hear nothing else from Alexis Guy. Alexis Guy, after that, took this girl's story and ran with it. Now, Alexis Sky do have people who've been knowing her since she was 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, Alexis, you don't want your friends to come out and say, this is not true. Especially of those that have been around you. You didn't think this out there clearly, did you? You just wanted to take somebody else's story. Did you have a storyline, Alexis Sky? In Love and Hip Hop? I guess you didn't. So you had to use this girl's storyline for your own storyline. That is not cool. But anyway, take a look. My situation, I left home at like 15, 16 years old. I was a runaway. I wasn't kidnapped, but I was held hostage. Sorry guys, I'm like super emotional when I'm talking about this, but um, when I got there, he took my phone, threw it in the water, and pretty much I had no way to contact my mom. You know, I was just sold to whoever, highest bidder. I was like a pawn, and I had to forcefully do it, or he would say he was gonna kill me, and um, I didn't wanna die. Like. It was a real traumatic time of my life. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I said, God, please just let somebody find me. And um, this guy, he was like looking at me and he like, he seen like tears coming down my eyes and he was basically like, uh, what's wrong? And he asked me how old I was and I'm like 16. And then he was like, all right, say less. And he dropped me off at the bus station. And that was it. And he never told me his name. Wow. And that was my only way out. I've been knowing you for quite some time. Not in a million years would I have ever thought that. Hey guys, it's Alexis. Um, I really just wanted to make this video today because I just got home. I've been traveling for the past three weeks and I live in Atlanta, for those that do not know. And I heard a lot of crazy things going on. People are getting killed, people are getting kidnapped. There's a lot of human trafficking going on. And it's been really sitting on my heart all night to really make this video and really let you guys know that it is not okay to be by yourself. I'm a victim of human trafficking, if you do not know. Now you know. I really feel like, ladies, if you're not with your friends, if you're not with your family, do not go anywhere by yourself, especially in Atlanta, all over the world, Cali, but it's really, really heavy in Atlanta, and I really just feel 
like you guys want to watch your surroundings and have mace on you, have a taser on you, you have to have a gun, just do whatever you need to do to protect yourself because it is really serious, it's the scariest thing in the world. And um, yeah, so I just really wanted to make this video because I don't think it's okay and this has to stop. So tell me, do you think someone should be allowed, allegedly, allowed to tell your truth, tell your story, and claim that your story is their story? See, it's always us little people who always get the short end, who always get ran over, who always get used and abused. Now, in these next few clips, I'm going to show you how serious this situation is when it comes to human trafficking, or whether you want to call it human trafficking, sex trafficking, these little girls, or just women, period. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. Take a look at some of these clips here in Atlanta and abroad. Well, my name is Ashley, and I am a human sex trafficking and rape victim. But I'm a survivor. Um, just to make it kind of short, I was coming home from work, well, getting off of work, thinking, you, you know, work where? Red Lobster on Taylor Road. Coming home from work, going to the bus stop across the street, and I was kidnapped um, by three guys, thrown into the back of a van, um, drugged. When I woke up, I was in a hotel. <laughs> Um, it was more guy like a room full of guys at that point though. Didn't know what happened. Um, they beat me and raped me at first. And then it was a 15 year old there with me. Um, yeah, her name was Julie. So they had kidnapped her and found her, you know, found her early on. So she was already being sex trafficked by them. Um, they told me that if I didn't work for them, they were gonna kill me. Um, I was in that situation for two weeks till uncovered detectives found me and um, they found me because my parents put up a missing person report up here. Um, I was able to get to a phone one day and because I didn't know where Julie was, like throughout that situation, a life or death situation, we made a bond with my sister because she was 15 and I, I was like older so we tried to motivate each other to do it. When they got this, Julie was in the closet bed, overdosed from the medicine. Throughout that process, that's where I got like all these bruises and stuff from. Like they cut me here, tried to kill me here when they threw me in the shower, tried to cut the vein, but they just missed it. Like they burnt my hands. Um, long story short, just make sure you're aware of your surroundings um, and be careful because still to this day, they haven't caught any of my attackers. We know who they are based off DNA from the rape crisis center, but they fled before police can get to them. So be careful, watch your surroundings, and don't trust anybody. And that's her miracle baby right there. Mm -hmm. In 2017, the National Trafficking Hotline says there were 276 reported cases of human trafficking in Georgia. That's an increase from 2016, where there were 255 cases, and in 2015, 199 cases. The FBI says Atlanta is a hotspot for human trafficking. But the GBI is already working with local convenience stores to put a stop to this. You'll start seeing stickers like these in bathroom stalls as a part of the effort. In the announcement, Mayor Bottoms said the city of Atlanta is committed to ending human trafficking and are grateful for the resources provided by the Pathways to Freedom grant, which will help us achieve that goal. Atlanta is one of three participating cities in Pathways to Freedom Anti-Trafficking Challenge. Thank you.
By night and by day across the country, young American girls controlled by pimps are sent out to have sex for money, sometimes 20 men a night. We had to make at least $1,000 a day. There was no days off. You have to sleep with 10 to 20 strangers per night. I would probably have up to like 20. I was so exhausted. I was so, I didn't want to do it anymore. He hit me a few times. And then he, he had a gun and he pointed it at me and he. Savannah was looking at websites when she was lured away. A study says the average age a girl enters prostitution is 12 to 14 years old. So one day, I, I think I was 13. I didn't really know a lot about anything. Mm -hmm. So I went online and I wanted to, I don't know how I came across like this website for like, you know, like sugar daddies, guys would pay for your stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I would have to have sex with them. Mm -hmm. I just thought they were gonna, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just thought that, you know, they would buy me stuff and mm -hmm. just because I was pretty, I don't know. I still did not understand what was happening like completely even when we went to the hotel room until it happened. And that is just one way pimps lay the trap. That's the power of everything. Um, that power, all this shit in here. Mm. Extra air, all that. This air? It's, it's like this, like all this? I didn't even see that. I don't even know what all this is. It should look like a bomb or some shit. This is, I don't know, this right here. I think it's a joke. That's like the door. I think this unlocked the door. I want to close y'all in here and see. No, don't close me in here. Yeah, I would. I, let no, me. No, no, I'm going to no, open no, it. Open. I just want to see. Knock on it so we can see. Can you hear? I will. Climb out, Alicia. Let her do it. She ain't scared of him. Close the door. She from Texas with the face on me. Knock. Hold on. Knock. Say some. Scream. Open the door. Tell the scream. You can hear a little bit, but yeah. barely. She said Cl scream. Closing the screen. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. You can't even hear it. Y'all screaming Hell no. Nah. Y'all You can't even loud. hear that shit. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes. It's like they have something down here too. That is something. That is crazy. Look, look, listen to this. Underneath the motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Underneath here. Look at that body. shit. That shit. <laughs> Yeah, they had some underneath here. You can. Feel. It looks soft. Cause they don't weld it together. That's that's the insulation, Alicia. It's insulated. You can't even hear. That's crazy. This some fucked up shit. Fucking power box, and then this go this connect to the outside. That's how this thing get power right here, y'all. This. Like they right, like they tried to clean it. Cause they don't tell them what they don't roll. The only thing you can see visible is that help. Yeah, and them little scratches. Look at look on the roof. Look at all them scratches up there. Look. I don't even know what they say. That shit look like blood and everything. They do. So ladies, men, children, everybody, listen. No one says you see this van? This van, if they put you in this van, you will not be able to get out. No one will be able to hear you. So please, watch out for any type of van. White, black, whatever. Any type of van. Please pay attention to your surroundings. So thank you very much for watching. So tell me, what did you think? Or what do you think about this story?
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Don't forget to tell the love and your love and trust tomorrow is not promised to anyone. And always stay thankful and grateful. Once again, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.